Okay, we're gonna talk about some equipment right now uh, for rattle trap fishing on Lake Fork. Uh, equipment is very important. It's a it's a it's a key factor in in uh, making your fishing productive uh, with rattle traps. Uh, you've got you've got anywhere from the reel to the rod to the diameter of the line that influences uh, the effectiveness of fishing these baits over the grass. And uh, I'll start out by talking about the uh, reel. Uh, Shimano makes the uh, Corrado E7, and it's an excellent reel. They just came out with this reel. This re this reel right here is a seven to one gear ratio, which which really takes the the uh, wear and tear off of your off of your arms and, and your hands reeling and jerking and pulling. It, it moves the bait through the grass quicker with less movement of the reel handle, which therefore uh, makes it easier on you after the day's over with. You don't get wore down as quick, and, and you have you have a lot better uh, control of the bait. Uh, this is a Shimano Compri uh, TC4. It's a it's a it's a cranking rod by Shimano, and uh, it's a it's a seven foot medium heavy. This rod is very sensitive. Uh, they also make it in a Crucial, but but both of them are very good rods. They're very uh, uh, sensitive. You can feel the grass. You can feel the stumps. You can feel. Uh, uh, the fish when they come up out of that grass and grab the bait. So that rod's very uh, essential to to the rattle trap fishing. To me, the sensitiveness of that rod has still got enough backbone in it to be able to rip the bait out of the grass, but yet it doesn't have so much tip that it's going to jerk treble hooks out of big fish's mouths. So it's a real good rod. Uh, gamma line is is essential for me. I use uh, uh, anywhere from a 14 to a 16 pound uh, fluorocarbon 